Well, happy Mother's Day, everybody. This is an awesome week and one that I know everybody is celebrating in your own beautiful way. And today I thought it would be fun to share a Be Extraordinary with my mom, Nettie, and my sister, Robin, that I know you guys already know. And you're always asking about them, so I thought it would be really fun to invite them onto the red couch so we can chit-chat a little bit and have a wonderful Be Extraordinary. So I know I'm always telling you guys that I truly believe that every woman is extraordinary, and I always want to encourage you to be extraordinary in any way you can. And these are two very extraordinary women. And um, we just thought this would be fun today to talk a little bit about one of the things that I think is most amazing about women, which is nurturing. And you guys have always asked this question of me and of our team, which is a wonderful compliment to our mom and dad, which is, how did you get to the point where you were so creative or how was your creativity nurtured? And I think this is a really awesome thing to talk about because women are nurturers and it's something that I think that we do naturally and I want my mom and my sister to talk with you a little bit about it too. Like what we do to nurture each other, what we do, how, why, mom, why are, why are we creative? What did you do? Like Robin? <laughs> had, you know, well, here's first I'll, I'll say this. I believe and I think you guys would agree that everyone is creative in their own way. I don't you yeah. think? Yeah. You yeah. always say that you're not creative, and yet I, I'm constantly disagreeing with you. I don't. I just don't think oh, I am. But, are. but I you don't. are. You're such an amazing cook. Yeah, but well, cooking. That's about oh, the only thing. But gardening. that's creative. And this is this is I think a myth that people have mm -hmm. is that well, cooking's not creative, but it's oh. so creative. Yeah, but I so can't creative. cook unless I have a book in front of me. So I mean, what? I, I don't make up anything. Well, I, that doesn't matter. <laughs> you don't have to make up things to be creative. No, that's very no, creative. I just. How about when we were kids? What would, what would be something that you could share with these lovely angels about how you nurtured creativity? Because you were so good at that, and I think we've taken away a lot from it. Definitely. I yeah. think because I gave you the, the things that you could be creative with. In other words, when you wanted to draw, I create, gave you the pencil and the paintbrushes mm -hmm. and put a little space where you could do all of your... But why? What made you, you know, what... Made you do that? What pushed you? What you know? Not everybody know. knows how mm -hmm. to do that. That's something that not everybody. I think sometimes we even take it for granted. The mm -hmm. whole the thing the, the things that we put in front of people. What is it? What what I did you know. see? I what just, made you? I just felt that if you wanted to, what whoever wanted like Robin wanted, she was interested in horses. horses. Right. Mm -hmm. So I made sure she got lessons to ride her horses. I encouraged mm -hmm. her to ride horses. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I know Danny had no interest whatsoever in the horses. <laughs> so My brother Danny. But he liked uh, playing hockey, so we encouraged mm -hmm. him to play hockey. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we tried a lot of things. I remember putting the two of you in uh, ballet and uh, that was a bomb. Was a bad <laughs> thing. <laughs> that was a bomb. That and I got it after Robin quit. <laughs> I, there's just no way. Yeah, one, day, just, one lesson of ballet and we were like, no. Yeah, you just, and I, I would get off of work and I'd try to take you there and I'd try and pick you up and then the uh -huh. two of you would just hated it. I know. We so were, I said, fine, that's fine. Well, not the answer. <laughs> I think it was the antithesis of what we were kind of doing, too. Like, I mm -hmm. loved riding horses. Mm -hmm. You loved working, you know, drawing, mm -hmm. painting, mm -hmm. working with vines, you know, loved working in that back room. Yeah. And we loved working sure, and then on our home. And when you home. both grew up, you said to me, how come you made me quit my dancing lessons? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you both did. I remember you, you said up. Oh, I know, right. you told me that. Why didn't you make me keep on with the ballet? I know, but children like, can be so beastly oh. about lessons and things like that. Yeah, but as a child, I had 16 I years worth of ballet and I right. hated it. Right. My mother always made me go take See, my See, that was your mother ballet. nurturing your creativity. Right. Did your mom nurture your creativity when you were little? No, she made me do things. No, I didn't want to do. she <laughs> made me. <laughs> But no, she I was don't so know. creative. I mean, she was always into. She, she was very creative. You know, creative. needle arts and sure. cooking and you know all sorts mm -hmm. of things. And you do all your gardening. That's hyper creative. Yeah, I love gardening. I mean, that's you know. creative. I like my antiques. Maybe that's being creative. Oh, oh gosh, yeah, absolutely. So looking for things. But as far as crafts or anything like that, I just I did when I was younger, but I did not now. Well, I'm that's just, what's I'm interesting, Mom, is I think that's where a lot of people go. And I always hear people say, "Yes, but I'm not an artist." And I always say to them. You know, even our accountant had better be creative. Right. <laughs> True. Everybody, now Robin, you are so interesting too because when you were a kid, you're interesting in lots of ways, but when you were a kid, 
<laughs> you didn't. You weren't really into the arts and things like that, and yet you're no. one of the most creative people I know. You know, you are oh. so creative in your home and the way that you dress and the way that you design things. You came to it at a different point in your life. I, I, I want did. everybody to understand that because I it's did. such I a cool did. thing. You know, I think it's I got. I think also as I got older, I mm -hmm. think as you mature. Mm -hmm. I mean, I find myself as an older, not an older individual, but as I'm getting older. A mature woman. <laughs> a mature woman. <laughs> I really enjoy, you know, everything I do, whether it's vignetting the stores or mm -hmm. it's my home or I love gardening. Mm -hmm. I'm not on the same level as Mom and Tracy are as far as cooking goes. I will admit that. She can do so much. She's a... Uh... Well, <laughs> We can't, things I just don't choose to do. Robin, as we so, say, you can't be brilliant at everything. No, you can't. <laughs> Certainly not. You know, so, when you, but, you know, when you use the word creative, mm -hmm. uh, I'm thinking, like when I was hanging the pictures in my house, mm -hmm. I can't do it. I don't know where to hang a picture. I'd have to have you or David had to hang the pictures. I don't do that type of thing. Or maybe you just choose not to see things in that way. I don't or know. You, just, you don't like it. It's or not putting it something on my table. Robin has to come over and arrange my books so it looks nice. <laughs> <laughs> I Nettie don't do that. Own personal decorator. Robin will show up and <laughs> it's yeah. a walk over. She's right. the charm fairy at your there house. <laughs> right. In fact, I had you do that the other day when I I think I got an antique silver basket and I didn't know what to do with it. And you put birds yeah, nests in it. It's, but for me, that that I love to do that. And well, but for you, getting out a cookbook and mm -hmm. creating a Russian cream or you know some wonderful roast or but wait you know, a minute, bird's nest in a silver basket. Well, <laughs> <laughs> so, it's it's all the way that you look at look something. At One of the things that I have to share that I thought was really neat is you know. Moms are really cool in how they can look at their children or find, it doesn't even, you don't, even if you're not a mom, you know, it's, it's the ability of most women to see someone else that needs nurturing. I still see you do this to your adult friends. I see you, I see you always, you know, try to encourage people in interesting ways and things like that. And that's what I think is so cool. You don't have to be a mom to be a nurturer, to be an encourager. You know, I think it's, it's something that is innate to women. But I have to say, when you um, were raising us, one of the things I think that mom would do that was really cool and I have learned a lot from is she would identify something about us that needed to be encouraged. For instance, I had, um, you know, my little glasses, my little <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> not the cute, yeah, well, and um, so I was very, um, uh, very introverted as a child, and I really didn't come out of my shell until much later. And I think mm -hmm. that maybe you identified the arts as something that would help bring me out, and I think it did. Mm -hmm. I mean, I honestly think, had I not started out my life with these little glasses at two years old, and you know, being afraid to look anybody in the eye and talk to anybody or anything like, I think that is a big piece. However, you identified it, mm -hmm. you know, and I, you know, I, I see even that craft room. You know, they had this really cool garden room that um, mom basically said you just go down there and you just make a mess and take it over and not everybody can do that you know it's easy for people to say well I need my house to be this and this and this and you know because of that you know we have a craft room for the kids and yes it looks like all hell broke loose in there most days <laughs> it's a tornado but it's a cool way to you know allow them to express themselves so I just had to share some of these really cool things. We could talk about this. We could kind of go on and on and on <laughs> for hours <laughs> about nurturing creativity or nurturing anyone else in your life or just, you know, again, whether you're a mother or you're a friend or an aunt or a sister, I just think it's really neat. If you know someone that you can encourage to be more of who they are or to, to believe in themselves and find more of what they want to do, it's a really cool thing. And again, it will allow you to be that much more extraordinary than you already are and help them be as extraordinary as they are. Well, cheers. cheers. Happy cheers. Mother's Day, everybody. Happy Mother's Day. Cheers. cheers, ladies. And to you, happy Mother's Day. Mm -hmm.